today I'm going to tie another pike fly. This one is uh, an old sort of a fly. Uh, it's one of the first types of pike fly that I ever fished with. And it's called a Mohican. Uh, basically it consists of bucktail. So this is a 6 o Sakuma Manta Extra 545. I'm using Uni Big Fly here as my tying thread. Uh, basically it can be whatever colours you want but this one I'm going to use is a, I'm going to tie a chartreuse one. So it's basically just repeating the same pattern over again. So you cut out a bunch of bucktail. Tie that up to your hook, put on a couple of turns and then tie it down tight towards the front and less so towards the rear because otherwise it'll splay itself out all over the place. into this. I'm just going to use crystal here. Put in a strand and double it. And then cut off the crystal here. Back there. And then glue that part. And the original one that I tied had orange bucktail and just white tie and silk as the body. But in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a silver wool. I'm going to wind that into the bit that I've glued, and that'll set into it and make it that bit more secure. Take it back to there. And tie it down. Now repeat the process again. Another bit of bucktail. Wrap it forward, good and tight and then slightly less so as you go back trying to keep them on top and then another strand doubled of crystal here starts to taper down again. Each time I'm not going quite as far back as the tips of the other one so I might have to start cutting a little bit off my bunches.
it's a little bit monotonous, but at the end of it, you end up with quite a durable pipe fling. Not too much on it to tangle. the tips, put those up behind the eye and then bind that down good and tight. Now I want this one to be neat because this is where the, we're going to finish it off for the head. So, trim off my uh, wool and now I'm going to build up a head with the Uni Big Fly. And the reason I use the Uni Big Fly for this fly rather than the gel spun is for this reason, for building up a, a head. It would take you forever with the gel spun. We'd finish it. Now, what do we do with this one? Allow super glue to soak into that. And then when that is dried, I'm going to put on a set of eyes, but essentially that is your fly bar. Silver eyes. Now I'm going to use Evo Stick Serious Glue whenever this one dries, but you can also finish it off if you want it with uh, some sort of UV cure resin. in position. Then we'll let that dry and when that is dried then I'll, uh, I'll finish it off. With my uh, Evo stick and create the head. So now that the super glue has dried out I'm going to use this which is Evo stick serious glue and I'm going to fill out the head with it. And the reason I let them dry first is because for some reason it does not react well with super glue. And they seem to turn white. So then I was using the rotary function of the vise just to allow me to fill in behind the eyes. finger to stop it sticking to my finger and I can just touch the glue. Just to shape it. Now that 
will dry in about five minutes or so. And there we have it. That is a Mohican in a chartreuse and black. And say so a very durable bite fly. If you wanted to make it even more durable, you could soak super glue into all of this body material. Indeed, the original one was just tied with white uni big fly. Uh, that's all the body was, was just white tie and thread. And then uh, soaked with super glue more and more layers, and eventually it'll create like a, a smooth body. But that's it.